Hi everyone, my name is Ellie and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and if you are a returning subscriber, hello and thank you for coming back. Welcome to another vlog. I have just finished packing and getting ready because today I'm going to Porto Sant'Elpidio with my two best friends from high school. We're going on a little summer girls getaway road trip and I'm taking you beautiful humans with us. This is my first time ever vlogging on a girls road trip or something like that so I don't really know how it's going to feel like but I guess we'll soon find out. And yeah, I haven't been on a trip like this forever. <laughs> So I'm feeling very happy and excited and like a teenager going on a first ever road trip with her besties. So meet these two, here is Federica and Veronica. As you can probably tell, they are twins and they are my besties from high school. And yeah, we met when we were 14 years old, which makes it 20 years ago, oh my god. So yeah, anyway, uh, we are about to drive, we're going to go to Porto Sant'Elpidio and do some true summer Italian vibes activities, right? Yeah. <laughs> Looking forward! <laughs> In the car, we are driving, more specifically, Federica is driving. We made it out of the city, which is already a big accomplishment. We are crossing Italy horizontally, and yeah, that's all for now. Okay, so we just crossed Abruzzo's Apenninis, which you can see it at my back. We made a little pit stop for breakfast, coffee and some snacks. I was actually looking for some gummy licorice, but I haven't found any vegan or vegetarian one, so I got these instead, which were my favorite sweets when I was a little kid, and I didn't know now they made vegan ones, so that is great. Comment down below what your favorite road trip snack is. Veronica, what is your favorite snack? No clue. I don't need many candies. <laughs> That's good, actually. Welcome to our hotel room. Okay, so it is currently around 2 p.m. and we finally made it to our hotel. We are now going to go to the city center to see Porto Sant'Elpidio's famous clock tower, grab some lunch and then we're going to go to the beach. Bye! We are strolling around this cute little town. We are by the seaside now. We're looking for some place to eat and then we're gonna go to the beach. The town is really adorable. It gives me real Italian summer vibes, which makes me really, really happy. So yeah, ready to enjoy this holiday. Heading back home from the beach, we had a wonderful time there, although it was a little bit short because we finished eating at 4.30 p.m. But the food was great actually, wasn't it? It was, yeah. So yeah, we just chilled in the sun, swam a little bit, the water was so warm, it was amazing. And then we played skipo and Veronica won, congratulations. And yeah, just had a really good time. 
Okay, everyone, so a quick little outfit of the day. This is a cute summer dress from Zara. I really love the color. My boyfriend picked it out for me. So, yeah, this is what I'll be wearing tonight. We're going to have dinner at the Birreria Isanti. We read that they have some really great artisanal beers there, so we wanted to try them out. And as far as food goes, they have many different sorts of burgers, also many different vegan and vegetarian options. So, yeah, we're going to go there and see. We are back at the hotel after dinner. We ended up at an open air concert by a cover band of the British band Who. It is now bedtime and I will see you all tomorrow. Good morning everyone. It is currently around 10 a.m. and we're slowly heading off to the city center to grab some breakfast. After that, we are hoping we'll be able to go visit a historical villa oops, called Villa Murri. And then we're going to check out the local market before heading off to the beach. I hope that you can hear me because it is really, really windy today. We just finished having lunch and we're now heading off to the beach. Although we've seen quite a few red flags, so I doubt that we can swim today because it is really, really windy and I think it's dangerous to swim in the sea. However, we're still gonna go there, check it out and maybe just chill and relax in the sun, read a little bit. I don't think we can even like play ball games or play cards because of the wind. Anyway, this morning was really good. We managed to visit both Villa Murri and Villa Baruchello. The gardens there were beautiful. If you ever come here, definitely go visit them. I'm just having a really wonderful time here with my friends. Like, one thing I realized growing up, <laughs> being an adult, is that you don't need to do all these fancy super things. Like, I feel just so genuinely happy and satisfied just chilling with my friends. It just generally makes me feel good. So yeah, little discovery <laughs> that I'm making here. If you're from Italy or more specifically from the region Le Marche, comment down below. And also if you've been to Italy or to Le Marche, comment down below and tell me about your experience. I love reading your comments and finding out more about you. Yeah, to be honest, I just feel that Le Marche is a really underestimated region in Italy. Like, no one ever talks about it and it's just a lovely little jewel. So I would definitely recommend you visiting if you ever come here. just had a wonderful dinner in a nearby town called Civitanova. We went to a restaurant called Limonaia and the food was delicious. We are absolutely happy with our choice. And now we're heading back to Sant'Elpidio and yeah, I think we're just gonna go for a little walk before heading back to the hotel. Good evening everyone! Actually, good morning. It is 
almost 2 a.m. We have just finished packing as it is our last night here in Porto San Principio. We're leaving tomorrow morning. We have to wake up at quarter to eight. So yeah, it's time to go to bed, but we had a wonderful time here. Good night. Good morning, everyone. It is currently around 10 a.m. We just finished having breakfast and we now left our hotel room. We concluded today our little visit in Porto San Filipino and we are now driving to San Benedetto de Cruz. We have just arrived in San Benedetto del Tronto. We're going to spend the day here. We are now strolling in the city center. We don't really have a plan. I think we're just going to go with the flow, probably end up at the beach. And yeah, hopefully just have a really good time here. watching my video if you haven't yet don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i will see you all in a future video bye